Hello, today I am going to do a quick overview of the replacement of my rear brake pads. The procedure is very similar to the front brakes. I am not claiming to be an expert bicycle mechanic, but just passing on a little do-it-yourself experience that could save you a little money. I hope you enjoy this presentation. You may or may not have a maintenance stand, which is not critical for this job, but it is very helpful to have. If you work on bikes a lot or plan on saving yourself some money by learning to do your own maintenance, I would highly suggest buying one as there are many inexpensive options available out there from various online retailers. We are going to begin by removing the small clip on the back side of the brake pad retaining bolt. Some folks might call it an E-clip, some may call it an external snap clip, but I call it an SOB clip because it will sometimes spring off and fly into the unknown and make you yell son of a bitch when it does. Anyhow, it can be removed without any tools, but needle nose pliers can sometimes be helpful. Put the SOB clip in a safe place so it won't get lost. Next, grab a 2.5mm Allen wrench and remove the brake pad retaining screw. You should be able to grab the brake pads and pull them straight out. There is a thin spring that kind of holds everything in line and it keeps it from rattling. Observe as my brakes are a bit neglected which would explain why they look road hard and put away wet. Check out the pack of new brake pads that I purchased from my local bike shop. There is considerably more meat on these new pads. Remember what the new pads look like and periodically inspect your pads and change them when they have worn thin or your braking power starts to diminish. Notice that included with this kit is all of the necessary hardware including the spring, SOB clip, and retaining screw. Call me a pack rat, hoarder, or what you will, but I don't throw anything away. I personally save the old parts so in the misfortunate time that you have to scream son of a bitch that there will be a serviceable used part on hand to save you the agony of searching for that little degenerate piece that disappeared. I am now going to take my 5mm allen wrench and remove the caliper retaining bolts. A ball end screwdriver will speed up the process, although not a necessity. Just lift the caliper off and look where the brake pads came out of. Notice that both of the pistons are stuck out a little bit. I have a Park Tool brake piston press, which is just a glorified screwdriver type prying tool. I have a bit of a sickness when it comes to buying Park Tools. However, stick it or something similar between those pistons and they should spread back to normal after applying a little bit of pressure. Next, we're going to clean the rotor. I am using an automotive grade fast evaporating brake cleaner to clean my rotors off before assembly. You need to be extra certain that all traces of grease and grime are removed from all braking surfaces to ensure maximum braking power. Situate your new pads with the braking surface cradled in the sawhorse looking spring retention device, and then while holding all three pieces together, install them down through the top of the caliper. Line the holes up and install the brake pad retention screw and tighten it to manufacturer's recommended torque. Finally, install the SOB clip. Torque specifications may vary by manufacturer, so be sure to apply the proper torque. You can now reinstall the caliper and run the bolts back in. Just run them to where they are snug and then back them off a hair. Before tightening the caliper to the specified torque, squeeze the brake lever as it will center the brake caliper assembly on your rotor. Then apply torque to the bolts while holding the lever in. Your brakes will now have to be bedded for maximum braking efficiency. I'm not going to include the brake bedding procedure in this video because many different manufacturers have different procedures for bedding their brakes. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Click the bell to be notified of future uploads and share it with your friends. Be sure to list any questions, comments, or suggestions below, and if you've done all of that or none of that, it's okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.